seven seventy five. Okay. Yeah, perfect. This is my company. I founded it and I'm the owner, Jam Maker. It's an all natural preserve and fruit jelly company. So we have a wide variety of jams and jellies. We also do a no sugar pure fruit spreads. They're called No Way No Sugar. And we have several varieties of those. And also, because fall is now here, and today really feels like fall, um, we do several fall varieties. A cranberry delight marmalade, our apple and pumpkin butters are sugar-free. We do a sugar-free cranberry. And we also do a uh, apple cider jelly, cranberry delight marmalade. Um, we do a cranberry chutney. All of our chutneys have walnuts and raisins, a little orange zest, and some vinegar. And the pure fruit ones are cranberry and two butters, an apple butter and a pumpkin butter. So my mom has an MSG allergy, and that's kind of how this com company got started. Uh, so we make two bullions. It's really hard to find bullions without MSG, so we have a vegan chicken bullion. This is made with nutritional yeast flakes and various spices and sea salt. And then we also have our vegetable bullion. So this is just vegetables and sea salt. And they're awesome. I use them to cook my rice in. When I make orzo salad, I cook my orzo in them. And they're just delicious. They give that nice full body to your soups as well. So if you're not able to come out to our market here at Wellesley, you can find us online. It's cookinituphealthy.com. That's cookinituphealthy.com. Cooking with an I-N. And we have a jam club as well. So you get four shipments of jams, either monthly or quarterly, four jars in a shipment. Actually, you get four jars in a shipment, one shipment monthly or quarterly, four jars in a shipment, 10% off the price of jams, and you pay for shipping. So it makes a great gift for the holidays too. So it is cycle day, so uh, we are here to do uh, quick tune-ups and bike checks and uh, we can adjust brakes and uh, adjust shifting and so forth. Um, on a day like today, it has to be quick so I can get more people in. Um, otherwise, maybe just see what people might need if they take the bike into the shop and, um, and just out here on a beautiful day to meet the community. Now my shop is in the center of Sherborne, uh, right in the center of town. Um, so I'm about 15 minutes away from here. And I sell, yeah, so, I'm, so I am a full service bike shop, so I sell bikes and equipment and parts and helmets and so forth, yes. This is my daughter, yes, in her uh, racing jersey. So uh, usually on, the, on Sundays we are off racing, especially in the fall for cyclocross. Uh, farmer's markets are great just because the community is, is, is around and they're coming in down to try to check out the local things and uh, you get people on a cycle day, people are riding their bikes to work like these folks over here um, and uh, so it's just a great way to get out and, um, and meet people. All right, we actually hold um, cycle cross training uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays and we have a lot of kids who come out uh, for that every every weekday and our other Mondays and Wednesdays and and then race on the weekends this is a this is a Wellesley business we've been around for 12 years it's a family-owned business I own the company with my brother Bill Pryor and we have been in the indoor cycling business uh, in Wellesley right down the street in Playhouse Square on the corner of Washington and Forest and we have this totally cool fun indoor cycling studio we we run roughly 35 classes a week we have 50 bikes big time community feel uh, we ride to uh, music ride to the beat of the music it's 50 minute classes total indoor cardio cool thing to be doing to stay healthy and fit you are burning calories you're burning fat you're working your heart you're working you're sweating you are clearing your mind clearing your head it's totally fun. The, the time flies so fast, you can't even believe it. You're in and out in less than an hour, and uh, you feel great, and you fork afterwards, and you have a great workout. We're not a club. It's a pay-as-you-go pricing model, so you do not have to belong to us. If you're an outdoor cyclist, you can come in on a rainy day and just buy one ride. It is a, there's no membership, so there's no big obligation. You come in and, and um, ride when it's good for you. My uh, shop, retail shop, is um, Sprig and Vine, and we uh, sell 
balsamic vinegars and all extra virgin olive oils primarily. I was the manager for the former uh, oil and vinegar shop located at uh, in, in in the square Pustare and um, they decided that they were going to just focus on their two stores on the Cape and other business opportunities on the Cape and asked if I'd be interested in the spot and as a lover of the product and a gardener, grow food and, and a home cook, um, I decided that this was a good thing to do in my retirement. We sell uh, extra virgin olive oils from all over the world, um, depending on the time of year, where the, wherever the latest harvest is. So right now we're beginning to get in olive oils from the southern hemisphere. Uh, but we still have all the favorites from the northern hemisphere last year's harvest in the fall, which we won't get again until probably the beginning of, of 2017. Um, and then balsamic vinegars from Modena, Italy. Uh, we have many uh, flavor varieties and we also have other specialty items, um, olives from Spain and honeys from Sicily. We're also getting more products in over the next few weeks. We're expanding our honey line. Um, we're going to have some local honeys as well as some from Jamaica. And we have uh, gifts. Um, we have a lot of packaged gifts that um, uh, includes a variety of our, our um, items and sampler sizes that are very popular. Um, all of this is really healthy for you and the balsamic vinegars especially. Um, one appealing feature of those are for one tablespoon it's only 10 calories and you get a lot of flavor and it really makes everybody you serve salad to think that you're the best cook. I make candy bars. I make uh, candy bars that are kind of similar to Snickers and Milky Way, so mm -hmm. they're filled with nougats and caramels. So they're kind of tall, chewy bars. Mm -hmm. I have uh, seven different flavors, and then I have a few confections of uh, beer nuts with sriracha, maple, and bacon, chocolate-covered almonds with sea salt, and um, a cashew brittle with cayenne pepper. Low heat. I was a pastry chef for probably 25 years. I took a trip to Madagascar with some chocolatiers that all made beautiful bonbons and um, bars similar to Hershey bars, so just a piece of chocolate, mm -hmm. and was not inspired whatsoever to make any of those things. They, like I think it's kind of saturated. Mm -hmm. Got back, uh, walked into my kitchen one day, had goosebumps, my heart was racing, and I was decided I was supposed to make better candy bars for the world. So Snickers and Milky Ways were, that's what I've made. I, I don't have a store. I'm trying to, it's my next piece of the process is to try to get a store. Um, but right now I work out of a, just a production kitchen. I've been in business for about three and a half years and just have done wholesale. It's the first year that I've started doing farmer's markets and it's, it's been a really nice getting to actually interact with people that are eating the candy bars and you know creating smiles with them. Well, travel, I think the furthest I'm going right now is Newburyport. Mm -hmm. Shipping, I ship the, they're in, uh, I just shipped down to Phoenix, Arizona. There are in uh, some stores down there. Ship out to uh, Philly to some fried chicken restaurant. Um, they're down in D.C., they're in uh, Brooklyn, they're kind of a lot of different places. But uh, I don't know, it's nice building the brand and uh, like I said in the farmer's markets, getting the meat. They're uh, it's made with uh, natural ingredients and I make my own almond butter and my own cashew butter and, and things like that. And, um, we have started Red Apple Lunch and we do home delivery of kids' school lunches. So we thoughtfully source, prep, and then we deliver them to your house the night before school, ready to go the next day. And we're a buy one, give one, so for every lunch that somebody buys, we um, donate a healthy snack pack to a child in the area. So you, uh, what you basically do is you pick out your main item, anything from a turkey and cheddar sandwich to, um, to pasta and chicken, and then you add on your veggie, your fruit, and your treat, and whether or not you want a drink or a snack. Um, they start at six dollars, and and that's it. And they're very thoughtfully sourced. So we go to the farmers markets. We get Iggy's bread. Our carrots are from Durban Farm. Our apples are from an orchid out um, in Western Mass. So it, it's really high quality ingredients in there, and the kids love them. So there's um, we've got 
turkey and cheddar on uh, Iggy's Country White or a whole wheat bread. We've got some butter and jelly. Um, what do we have? We have orzo and uh, veggies with chicken. We've got our kind of fun item we have right now is um, wild Maine blueberries with uh, blueberry pancakes with wild Maine blueberries and turkey bacon. And um, what else? For our treat, we have a chocolate chip bite. And then we also have snacks. So we've got, we make our own crunchy granola in house, power muffins, crispy greens. Those are a lot of our, a lot of our menu items. All right, we did a pilot in the spring in Arlington and Cambridge, and now, uh, first week in October, we're expanding to 10 more towns, and Wellesley being one of them. I've always been really, really interested in food and kids and health and kind of connecting it with the local food economy. Um, and I was a busy working mom, and I'm, I basically designed something that I knew people like me would really need. Well, we've been very excited about our robots. All summer we had a uh, naming contest going on, and last week we were pleased to announce that 10-year-old Oliver had correctly, not correctly, but won the um, naming contest, the names of the robot Lava and Sky. And now the important work starts because the purpose of the robots is to enhance digital literacy for everyone and to do that we have a whole slate of classes on learning how to code and program the robots. It's for all ages because the robots are humanoid. This is actually a life-size cutout. Um, they, it's very attractive and engaging. They make eye contact. They have pre-programmed responses to certain questions. But the purpose is to enhance digital literacy for all ages by teaching some of the principles of coding. It's a very simple, if you're familiar with Scratch, it's not unlike that. This is called Choreograph, and it's a drag and drop coding program. Intro to Choreograph is the class that everyone should take. It's a one-time class. We have many sections every week. Again, if you look on our website at wellesleyfreelibrary.org or if you pick up a brochure about the coding classes, you can sign up for Intro to Choreograph. And from there, the sky's really the limit. The actual software is available from our website to download and you can download it to your own device and practice with the coding and come back to the library during Robot Lab and see how your program actually works on the robot. These robots come to us courtesy of the generosity of the Wellesley Free Library Foundation with funds raised at last year's gala. We, we started the company last year with three friends. We live in Boston for more than six years. And we came up with the idea saying like, oh, in Boston, like there's nowhere you can go to find a good dessert. Like get a cup of coffee and uh, just relax, enjoy some sweet, uh, sweet desserts. So we came up with the idea. My, my partner, Ed, Edmund Wong, he's a great baker. So he teaches us how to handcraft every single dessert we have. Uh, currently, we sell at different farmer's markets. Wellesley, Sowa, Cambridge, all the um, farmers markets in Boston area. Uh, we always bring like a farmers market different stuff. Today we have six flavors French macarons. We also occasionally bring cream puff, cannellis, cream brulee, like all the delicious uh, stuff. I think um, currently we really feature in French macarons on farmers market, mm -hmm. but uh, we will have uh, cannellis, which is a French rum cake. We also like uh, ask a couple of our customers, they really like that, so we will bring to market soon. Um, our goal is uh, whatever products we make, we want to make with our passion, with our like, love, with our like, handcrafted, use the best ingredients ever, because we really want to make people have a great experience. We believe there's always room for dessert. Um, so it's a roughly 65 acre, um, almost completely organic farm. We do as much as we can to be organic. Um, it's in Millis, Massachusetts. We have a farm stand on property that we sell everything that we grow out of. We also have an over 200 person CSA that we do. Um, CSA is community supported agriculture. So what it is, it's a type of insurance for a farming company that also allows for more people to get their product. So people sign up for our main share um, in the early spring, late winter, like around March. And it runs from the end of, or mid-June through the end of October. 
and you can come every week or every other week depending on what you sign up for and basically you get um, a little bit of everything that's coming in from the field so we use the money that we get to pay for seeds to pay for labor that's all happening before it so with a year like this with the drought we can ensure that we're still going to be getting product and we're still going to have people buying the product so my brother worked at Tangerini's for four years before I did so I kind of started to do it. I've been doing it for three years. Um, I actually I'm work out in the fields. Um, one of the only girls that did at least last year. We have a couple more this year. Um, so during the summer I'll work over 40 hour weeks um, which is basically from 7 to 3.30 or 4. And we just do like pulling everything in, weeding, harvesting, planting, everything that needs to be done to get product. It's not the goal for me. I'm a senior in high school, so I'm starting to look at colleges, but it is definitely something that I want to be a part of. If I don't own my own, I want to... It definitely has a special place to me, and I want to do something with it. We have been in Wellesley for, I think, five years now. We started out at the in the uh, parking lot at Whole Foods, and this is our second year here at the Unitarian Church and our first year on the, on the lot. The idea is to give Wellesley a place to get to get fresh produce and to sort of meet each other on the weekends and learn about things that are happening in town that you might have missed otherwise. There's the farmer, the farmers obviously are from further west in Massachusetts, but the other people are mostly Wellesley and neighboring towns. It's a great place to come on a Saturday, get a cup of coffee, wander around, get some produce and see what else is going on. There's a, there's a small fee if you just want to be here for one week, you can do that. If you want to be here for the whole season, you can do that too.